ECG cable-free measuring, there are three electrodes, the front, the back, and the left. They are designed to get ECG signals from the human body. To get stable ECG signals, rest your hands on a table if possible. If a table is unavailable, rest your hands on your thighs without contacting the skin of the thighs directly. During ECG measuring, touch the electrodes gently. Keep good contacts with the electrodes. Keep the two hands away from each other. Do not overlook the square electrode on the back. In the whole process, relax your arms and hands. If your muscle is under stress, the muscle electrical signal will make the ECG waveform noisy. So take it easy. Relax and don't push hard. When testing with an external cable, keep your arms relaxed. Let your palms face each other. If your palms are upwards, the ECG waveform may be noisy as the muscle of your arm is under stress. Lead 1 ECG uses the left hand and right hand as its signal source. Almost 10% of people, especially women, have low amplitudes of Lead 1 ECG. Larger signals can be obtained from Lead 2, which uses the left leg and right hand as signal source. For Lead 2 testing, the left hand is replaced by the left leg. You can choose the left knee as the contact area, as there is often no hair. Essentially, ECG is an electrical signal from your body. Before measuring, make sure that the contact skin areas are clean and not dry. If your skin is dry, moisten your skin before testing. CheckMe has a built-in SpO2 sensor. You can measure SpO2 without a cable. Usually you can choose the index or the middle finger of your right hand for testing. To start a cable-free SpO2 measurement, you need to tap the pulse oximeter icon and insert your forefinger into the built-in sensor. If you don't insert your finger enough, you can't get the right SpO2 result. The photodiode area should be covered fully by the fingertip. When measuring, keep your finger relaxed. Do not exert pressure on the sensor. Pay attention to the status of the finger for measuring. The finger must be clean. The nail shouldn't be polished or artificial. When measuring, the sensor should be kept away from bright lighting. If the finger is too cold, the oximeter may not be able to get the SpO2 results. Before testing, you can rub your fingers until they are warmer. You can also try to take an external cable for testing. To get blood pressure reading in daily check, the device should be calibrated with a cuff BP meter. It's better to be done by a doctor with a clinical mercury manometer if possible. Before doing BP calibration, you need to create a user account first. Due to individual differences, each user must make his or her own calibration before using daily check to get a BP result. The calibration should be performed when the user is under calm status. Place the cuff on your left arm. Start the first calibration. Do the blood pressure measurement from the cuff BP meter first. After that, you can get the systolic pressure reading from the cuff BP meter. Remember the number. Then use the same posture as daily check. Rest your hands on a table in the process. Follow the tip, input the number to the CheckMe device. Then the calibration has been done once. Follow the tips of the device. The calibration will be done twice. If the readings of the two BP measurements are very close to each other, the calibration is valid and finished. If they are not close to each other, Wait for a few minutes and restart the calibration. If your Lead 1 ECG signal is too small, use Lead 2 ECG. Use the left knee instead of the left hand. Daily check is a multifunctional measurement. ECG electrodes and an SpO2 sensor are used at the same time for daily check. You can get ECG and SpO2 results at least. If a BP calibration has been performed, you can also get that of systolic blood pressure. To start daily check, choose the right user first. Hold the electrodes gently. 
and insert your forefinger into the SpO2 sensor. Rest your hands on a table. A few seconds later, two waveforms come out. As you need to test ECG and SpO2 both at the same time in daily check, please refer to the ECG and SpO2 part for specific requirements. If you use LEAD2 ECG in BP calibration, you should take the same posture for daily check as much as possible. This device integrates an infrared thermometer to measure forehead temperature. The forehead and temples must be free from perspiration and cosmetics. On the main screen, select Thermometer. Put the thermometer sensor on the temple gently. Click the Home button. You will hear beeps, which indicates the measurement is started. Move the device to the forehead for about 3 seconds until you hear a longer beep, which indicates the measurement is finished. Take down the device and the screen will show the measurement result. During testing, keep the distance between sensors and the skin less than 2 centimeters. <music>